There was no video game industry in 1970. The games that we'd now call video games were still mostly locked away on computers in university and research labs. Engineering student Nolan Bushnell was captivated by the most popular of these games, Space War. He began brainstorming on a way to turn Space War into a commercial product. The only computers capable of running Space War at the time cost more than $100,000. The introduction of the $4,000 Data General Nova minicomputer reignited his interest. Bushnell, along with Ted Dabney and another partner, struggled to make their cosmic combat game work smoothly on a Nova computer. But Bushnell soon realized they could create more affordable, custom hardware that ran a simpler, single-player version of the game. In early 1971, Bushnell and Dabney brought the idea to Nutting Associates, known for producing the best-selling 1967 coin-operated trivia game Computer Quiz. They debuted Computer Space to a mixture of excitement and skepticism. The fiberglass cabinet looked like it belonged on the set of a science fiction movie. The gameplay resembled Space War, but rather than a rocket dueling with a spaceship around a sun, the single-player game pitted a spaceship against two enemy saucers. Early game tests were favorable, but initially excitement leveled off, as further tests showed that the game's complex controls and physics frustrated many players. While some coin-op distributors and game operators liked the game, many more wondered if this new video game was just a fad. Nutting eventually sold 1,500 units, well below expectations, but it established the blueprint for nearly all coin-operated arcade video games that followed it. Bushnell and Dabney left Nutting and co-founded Atari, the company that ignited the video game industry with Pong. Ultimately, Computer space didn't bring video games to the masses, but by showing that video games could reach paying audiences outside of computer labs, it laid the foundations for the game industry.